Um, the one surprising thing is, is we're going to get to Mac Brown right now is they fired Fedora. You know, there, there was a rumor that he was fired Saturday night, I believe, but it wasn't official until Sunday morning. And then the, the Mac Brown hire, did that come out Sunday? I mean, that came out Sunday. It came right? out pretty quickly. Yeah. So, I, you know, I think it came out. Uh, didn't it come out Monday? It was more like official Monday. There were rumors Sunday, and it was yeah. made official I mean, Monday. But what? Yeah, whatever the case is, I you know it's interesting that UNC was ready to move on Mac Brown. So that means they they were talking to Mac Brown probably throughout the season because it mm-hmm. happened. You know, they immediately fired Fedora. They didn't you know they didn't wait um, and mold the decision over, and then they immediately hired Mac Brown. So. It, you know, it, it's really funny because it's so similar to what just happened with the Oakland Raiders and John Gruden. If you remember correctly, there was the the last year the Raiders were playing at Philadelphia. John Gruden was doing the Monday night game, and Adam Schefter reported that the Raiders' plan was to make John Gruden the coach. But this was with two weeks left, and then they had to push back. And then, well, immediately as soon as they could hire John Gruden, they hired John Gruden. So. This seems like the Tar Heels were talking to Mac Brown. Also, it's Mac Brown's second tenure with North Carolina, John Gruden's second tenure with the Oakland Raiders, and both of them have had a lot of success. Probably the you know the most success that both of those teams have had in recent memory. Um, so my question is to David, and and put it you know Gruden's not as as old as as Mac. Mac is sixty seven. I think you know Gruden's early 50s or whatever he is um was it the right move for the Tar Heels to hire Mike sorry Mac Brown Mike Brown I, mean, I don't know if it was yeah I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it was the best decision because I mean I don't know who all is still on the market for coaching but I definitely think this is a smart decision by UNC this was more of a look to the future for UNC football because uh they know that I mean right now Mac Brown He's not going to last very long coaching, but he's a reputable name, and he's definitely going to attract uh, promising coordinators and promising recruits. So he's definitely someone they can rally around a staff around him. That will definitely set up North Carolina for the future. So like Ryan had mentioned this earlier uh, off air, but uh, like if he found an offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator that he could kind of set up and teach for about two or three years, uh, I think – that that person would end up becoming the new head coach, and he's probably one of the perfect people to do it because he is so well known in college football. Yeah, I mean to to get to that point, you know the the new trend in football and mainly the NFL is you hire these super young offensive coordinators, brilliant offensive minds. You know the Sean McVay's, the Kyle Shanahan's, um, and they, they come in and they've been doing great stuff so far. So that's the complete opposite of what the Tar Heels did. But I don't think it's, I, you know, I do think it's the right move for the fact that, you know, there's already been rumors that Mac Brown is going to bring in, you know, not going to, but there's been rumors that maybe the defensive coordinator could be Gene Chizik, great, great, you know, great coach, big name. And then <clears throat> what's, the, what's the guy from Texas Tech? The, the, oh, yeah, the guy that got fired recently. Yeah. Uh, was that a Taylor? He has a weird name. Oh, yeah, it's it's a Cliff Kingsbury. Kingsbury as offensive coordinator. So he's gonna bring in these these big name coordinators, and I think the hope is from UNC, if I had to guess, is Mac Brown sixty seven. So you can't think that he's gonna be coaching for ten more years. You know, best case scenario, he comes in for the next five years. And hopefully he's able to groom one of those coordinators and, and he comes in and he's able to attract these coordinators for the reason of, if, hey, you come in here, you come to UNC, <coughs> I will help build and set up the foundation for this program. And then five years from now, I will, you know, fade out and this will be your program and you can be the one that brings North Carolina back to success and be this hero in Chapel Hill. So I think that will be attractive for North Carolina, um, for these these coordinators. And then the hope is, you know, you bring in this young guy, then he steps in, and then you have your, you know, dynamic and young coach for many years. Another thing with Mac Brown, which I really like, is 
obviously discipline was a huge issue and this guy is a established winning football coach uh he's old so you assume he's going to be no nonsense and i think that's something that unc needs um you know which will be a little bit a lot different from larry fedora but he'll come in and and change that culture immediately just you know people are going to respect him he's going to bring in that old football those old ways and he's had success you know he brought texas to the national championship he had success at UNC, which not many people are able to do. So I think that is going to be, you know, something to watch out for uh, with the Mac Brown thing. You know, 